Welcome back to Charged. The following contest is an Aces Wild Qualified Match skilled over one fall with a 10 minute time limit. It's just the first weight, 250 pounds from Salt Lake City. An Aces Wild qualifying match. And what a main event we have in store for you tonight. Marty Casales would like to advance here in this Aces Wild tournament. Once again, getting your hands on becoming a number one contender, getting you one step closer to challenging for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. Martins have his, uh, about a week to gather himself. Looking for a victory here. Oh, here we go. And he's about to kill him from Franktown, Colorado. The Sugar Killer, Chucky Crusher. The war is never over. Sugar Free Mario Man. That son of high fructose corn syrup. Sugar is a four-letter word in the vocabulary of Mario Banger. These two athletes at just their absolute peak. <laughs> Marty Casals having a little words with the uh, with the faithful here. I think he's starting fights with kids. I look great. Don't you say anything about my sugar? How many donuts did he have this weekend? <laughs> Mario asking Martin how many donuts he's had. This match is official. The bell has rung. And Mario with that unorthodox uh, approach to, to pro wrestling here. I mean, he, he's a passionate man. He absolutely refuses sugar. I've seen Mario Vanger eat raw ground beef, Dilo. Y yes, the man of convictions. I've seen him, and I've sat down and listened to him talk, and he's tried to educate me on, on the, the perils and the dangers of sugar. So did you cut out sugar? Well, I, I told him my ex-wife's nickname was Sugar. That's Sugar, baby. So yeah, I cut it right out. Oh my goodness. That's how I look this day out good. Casals jaw jacking with uh, Mario here. Strong tie up there. Casals backing Vanger up. And these are two large individuals. I don't know if there's a strength advantage. You know, Marty's got a little bit of a size advantage. Oh, look at that, a slap right to the face of Vanger. He also has an attitude advantage. Vanger needs to, to get a little control here before he slips up and makes a, a mistake that'll cost him the match. And you see, this is like a feeling out process here. Get, fans getting behind Sugar Free Mario Vanger. And Mario is a forearm duel. A forearm duel. What is a forearm duel? Whoever drops first loses the duel. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, That's for, not an official uh, way to win the match, but we're here for it, okay? I, 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 I've been around wrestling for a long time. I've never heard of forearm duel. Back to back. Back to back. back, to back. <laughs> These are the rules. We're going over the rules as we go. One step out. Okay. You never know what you're gonna see here One, on Charge. One, two, three, step out, hit. Two, three. Oh, wow. Both men making contact at the same time. Both men still on their feet. The duel continues. The duel. <laughs> Unfortunately, the duel carries on. Are they going back to back? I think we're going back. All right. Take two. All right, there, there must be a winner in the duel. Okay, let's, let, let's get the count here. Of course, Two, count to three, three, step out, forearm. And another double shot here, and both men have been rocked. This forearm duel is, is quite interesting. Okay, well, you know, both men still on their feet by the, oh, the definition of the we'll rules. One more time. We've just been asking one more time. Well, I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're finally gonna see the winner of the duel here. One. And for the third time. Wow, look at that. Uh, uh, 
I can't tell who's playing mind games on who here, t I, 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 I don't, I, I, I've never seen this. They're back to back again. All right, we're, we're seeing the first ever forearm duel here in Rocky Mountain Pro. Over the last ever forearm duel in Rocky Mountain Pro. Oh! You knew something was amiss. Big stomps there, that barrage from Marty Casaus. And now, Casaus taking over, and Mario is getting pounded in the corner. I want the four-hour duels! Well, apparently, Casaus declaring himself the winner of the four-arm duel. Because there must be a winner. There must be a winner. Mario ducking out of the way, that big clothesline, a chop, and a European uppercut. Now, Mario with the advantage, but no, gets reversed here into the corner. Oh, comes out and eats a clothesline. Big impact. Vanger able to kick out it too. And you see this is a little vicious side here in Marty now, isn't it? You see this little change of speed in his attack. There's a little bit of an instability, to, to say the least. Grabbing Mario Vanger by the ears. Look, at, oh my gosh, those brutal elbows. Elbow pinpoint right on the collarbone, high chest, and now fish hooking him. Double fish hook. Showing him that smile. Vanger fighting his way out of the, the attack there from Martin. A straight right hand there from Casal. He's got Marty, Marty's got, got Martin rocked. Vanger down in the corner, desperately needs to figure out how he's gonna combat this onslaught. We have people cheering for Marty in the crowd. We have Mario Chance. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a split crowd here because I think they give they have respect for both individuals in terms of their ability to go out there and just fight. One of these men will advance to the next round of the Aces Wild Tournament. Casals with a two count deep hook. Now, how are you liking this format of the Aces Wild Tournament over several weeks as opposed to a one night event? I, I like it. It gives each competitor, I feel, a, a fair shot at uh, at the, the title. That way you're getting both men at their, their absolute best. And I think in, in light of competition and true competition, that's just the best route. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to, to showcase the tournament. And, and, and it's, a, it's a reward for the fans. Stretch it out a little bit. Going for the pin here. Only a two count. Marcus Souse there with that that octopus grabbing, oh, just ripping at the face. Oh, now he's, he's fish hooking the nose. Grabbing the nostrils. Martin will do anything it takes to win, to advance. Now controlling the head, and once you know you control the head, you control the body. Oh, Vanger what? being sells with that huge European uppercut. Yeah, but he, but Vanger is, is he's, he's hurting. He can't even, look, he can barely stand up. Oh, what a form, and, and Casals is rocked. Banjo hitting the ropes. Marafuji, clothesline, no. Reverse knife edge, yes. Big clothesline, sending Casals to the mat. Another one. Mario is trying to build momentum here. Mario amped up right now. Maybe losing focus for just a half second too long. You can see both men here. What a reversal! Wow. Hitting that neck breaker on Casals, not hooking the leg. You have to wonder if that would have resulted in a victory if he would have just hooked the leg. There was a slight hesitation there too, which that, that little bit of a heartbeat could have cost the three count. Especially with a guy of the caliber and the skill set of Martin. Sorry. Sorry. And wait a minute, Mario going with that go behind. Got him. And a quick roll up victory. So, one of this match, Mario Fanzo. Martin Casal suffering yet another loss. And 
the look on his face. Mario Banger moving on to the next round of the Aces Wild Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, for D'Lo Brown, I'm Danger Dean, and we'll see you next week on Charged.